Hello, uh, we are going to now look at uh, question number four of the Pace Relationship Problem Set. So this question describes about a soil sample and some measurable quantities are given. And it is also a good idea to write down all the known information given in the question as well as what you need to calculate. So that will save you some time uh, from going back to the questions and finding out the details uh, repeatedly. And in this question, uh, the total mass of a sample is given and the volume of the mass uh, soil sample is also measured, degree of saturation and also the mass of the solid is also measured. What you have been asked to calculate are the bulk density, dry density, moisture content, weight ratio and the specific gravity of the soil. So if you start with the uh, bulk density of the soil, so the bulk density can be easily calculate because the bulk density is defined as the total mass of soil divided by the volume of soil. So we know that the soil sample has a mass of 1.73 kilogram and the measured volume is 0.001 cubic meters. So that will straight away give the answer 1730 kilograms per cubic meter which is the bulk density. The dry density can be determined now. The dry density is defined as the mass of solid divided by the mass of uh, total volume. So the mass of solid is also directly measured which is 1.44 kilograms and the total volume is given as 0 0.001. So that will give you the dry density 1440 kilograms per cubic meter. And the next thing you can calculate is the water content. So the water content is defined as the mass of water divided by mass of solid. So for this soil sample, we know the bulk mass, which is 1.73 kilograms. And then after oven dried, the weight has gone down to 1.44. So that means the the difference is the loss of water. Difference is due to the loss of water. Therefore, the mass of water will be the total mass divided by, ma uh, subtracted by mass of solid divided by mass of solid. So the total mass is 1.73 and the mass of solid is 1.44 divided by 1.44. That will give you the answer 20.1 percent. So that is the uh, water content of this soil sample. Next thing we are going to calculate is the void ratio. The void ratio is defined as the volume of voids divided by the volume of solid. So to calculate this one, uh, we have to use the given information. Uh, out of the given information, now for this purpose, what we could use is the degree of saturation. Uh, so you can see the degree of saturation is 61.6 percent, which means it is not fully saturated. It is under unsaturated condition. Uh, the degree of saturation is defined as the volume of water divided by volume of weights. So from this relationship, now we can write down our degree of saturation is 0.616 equals volume of water. So I'll put at unsaturated water volume divided by volume of weights. So whenever you use the uh, degree of saturation, you can always use the condition where the soil is fully saturated. When the soil is fully saturated, your degree of saturation is 1, which means total volume of voids is now filled with water. So when the degree of saturation is 1, you can simply write 1 equals volume of water divided, uh, volume of water under saturated condition divided by the volume of voids. So the volume of void is not going to change. For both cases, the volume of uh, voids will be the same. Therefore, uh, we can uh, now write down uh, using these two equations, 0.616 equals volume of water under unsaturated condition. So from this equation, we know that volume of water saturated equals volume of voids. So now I'm going to replace the volume of voids with volume of water saturated. So now we can convert the volumes into masses. 
uh, using the density. So, the volume of water unsaturated will be mass of water unsaturated divided by density of water and volume of water saturated will be mass of water saturated divided by density of water. So, that is basically mass of water unsaturated divided by mass of water saturated. So, from that we can um, calculate the uh, mass of water saturated. Mass of water saturated will be 1 above 0 0.616 times mass of water unsaturated. So, we know the mass of water unsaturated which is the difference between uh, total mass and uh, the dried mass which means in 1 cubic meter volume it will be 1730 minus 400, 1440. So, that will give you 471 kilograms. 471 kilograms of water uh, will be there in this soil in 1 cubic meter under saturated condition. Now, we can calculate the volume of water under the same condition which is a saturated condition. So, the volume of water will be the mass of water divided by the density of water. So, the mass of water we found as 471 divided by 1000 that will be 0.7471 cubic meter. So, that will be your volume of water under saturated condition. So, this is our uh, saturated water volume. So, the, if the soil, can, soil is under saturated condition, so total void volume is filled with water. So, that means this total volume of uh, water under saturated condition will be equal to your volume of voids. So, therefore, your volume of voids is equal to volume of water under saturated conditions which we calculated before as 0 0.471 cubic meter. So, since we assumed initially a 1 cubic meter total volume, the total volume comprises the volume of voids and volume of solids. Therefore, your volume of solids will be 1 which is the total volume minus volume of voids. So, that will be 1 minus 0 0.471 which will be 0 0.529 cubic meters. So, that is your total volume of solids. So, now we have determined our V volume of solid V s as 0.529 and volume of voids as 0.471. So, now we can determine the void ratio which is VV divided by VS 0.471 divided by 0.529 which will be 0.89. So, that is your void ratio and the next thing we are going to calculate is the specific gravity GS. So, by definition GS is MS divided by Vs times rho w which is the density of water. So, we have already calculated all the terms here the values for all the terms here. So, Ms which is the mass of solid is given as um, 444 1 cubic meter volume and the volume of solid we have just calculated as 0 0.529 density of water is always you can consider as 1000. So, that will give you a GS specific gravity of this soil that will be 2.72. So, that is all for part A. Under part B, part B you have been asked to calculate the, the saturated density of this soil. To calculate the saturated density, you need to know the total mass of the saturated soil, so which will be mass of water plus mass of solid divided by the volume. 
So when we assumed a total volume of one cubic meter, we first calculated in the previous set part the mass of water in uh, one cubic meter volume under saturated condition, which came up as 471. And then the density, uh, the mass of solid, mass of solid in one cubic meter volume is 1440. That is from the given information uh, in uh, 0.001 cubic meter volume, the mass of solid is 1.44 kilogram. Hence, if it is one cubic meter, that will be 1440 divided by the total volume, which we assumed as one. So that will come up as 1911 kilograms per cubic meter. So that is the density of this soil under saturated conditions. So that is the complete solution for this question.